Okay, news nobody's talking about with GLP-1 medications and autoimmune disease. There have been multiple studies in 2025 showing GLP-1 medications can reduce inflammation and immune system overdrive. I'm putting all of the links in the description. So let's break down what the research has said. In people with, room, and these are multiple studies, in people with rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis, using a GLP-1 drug meant fewer flares and less pain, sometimes even better than standard meds alone. People with lupus, IBD, or psoriasis, research is pointing to lower risk and less severe disease after starting a GLP-1 treatment. How? Well, these medications bind to GLP-1 receptors everywhere, including immune cells, and they block inflammatory signals like TNF-alpha and interleukin-6. They also reduce oxidative stress and they slow down immune cell attacks on your own body. Are there risks? Of course, that's why you have to work with the doctor. Most studies show though that GLP-1 medications are safe for people with autoimmune diagnosis. I mean, there's so many people with autoimmune diagnosis now, so we have to figure that out. But long-term data is still growing. Rarely, immune side effects can happen. So of course, we want to integrate this with your doctor. And this is going to be coming down the pipeline. So now is the time to have the conversation with your doctor. And individual response matters. So the bottom line is, is that GLP-1 medications might be opening a new chapter for autoimmune treatment. This Post, for example, is way ahead of what your doctor's probably going to agree to. But I want you to drop your questions and share your story if you're on these medications and you have had a conversation with your doctor about going on them for your autoimmune disease.